Art Bedsole, a series of bites from a Colorado Springs police canine will cost the city $190,000. Tonight, we're digging into that arrest from last year, but a warning right up front. The images in this story are extremely graphic and maybe too disturbing for some of our viewers. Carradio News Channel 13, Spencer Soysher joins us live from the Colorado Springs Police Operations Center with more on this legal settlement. Spencer. Barton Heather, back in March of 2021, the police were looking for a man that was involved in an alleged domestic assault. He had left the scene of the possible crime and was hiding underneath a truck. But what happened next is incredibly tough to look at. Zook. Colorado Springs police were looking for Christopher Carell. A domestic disturbance had been called in and he had left the scene. They found him hiding underneath a truck. Police worn body camera snippets show that when police found Carell, they were able to get him to stand up and had him put his arms up in the air, but he eventually put them down, prompting a canine officer by the name of Odin to go after him, violently bringing him to the ground. The injuries gruesome. Carell's legs showing a visible impression of the dog's teeth. His attorney saying Odin ripped holes in Carell's leg that required numerous skin grafts to repair, a process that took weeks in the hospital. At the time, Colorado Springs police released a statement of the press saying that Carell had suffered minor injuries. Carell's attorney doesn't agree with that characterization, calling this arrest, quote, textbook police brutality. It's a request for approval of a settlement for a claim arising from a police canine bite. On March 24th, the Colorado Springs City Council voted six to one to approve a settlement between Carell and the city in the amount of $190,000. Six, six to one? Yes, sir. Okay. Still, Carell's attorney contends there was no reason for the dog to be sent after him, writing, quote, Mr. Carell was standing still in the middle of a field surrounded by three CSPD officers armed with a taser, a handgun, and a canine respectively. He posed no threat to anyone, and he wasn't going anywhere. All the officers needed to do was walk up to Mr. Carell and arrest him. We reached out to the city of Colorado Springs tonight to find out if insurance will cover the settlement or if taxpayers will have to foot the bill. We did not hear back. We also reached out to the Springs Police Department tonight to find out if this could result in any policy changes or if they had anything to say about this incident. They said they're still waiting to hear back from the city before talking with us. Reporting live at Colorado Springs Police Operations, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13.